I'll try not to bump into this thing. I ain't used to being marred. <laughs> well, appreciate being out here, you know, again. Again, this time, you know, this is back in the, back in the spring, beginning of April or May or sometime when I was out here before. And, uh, you know, a lot's changed since then, but uh, one thing ain't changed in the Lord. Amen. You know, He's the same today and yesterday and forevermore. Amen. And praise God for that. And uh, I'm glad, you know, uh, I can feel the Spirit here this morning. I'm glad, you know, you can get excited for coming to a church, you know, you ain't been to in a while and don't know very many people. But, uh, you know, I'm glad I can feel the Spirit here. But uh, if you got your Bible with you today, I'm, uh, I'm going to be in Luke chapter 15. Well, that's a pretty familiar scripture, but uh, that's where I felt like I needed to be today. <clears throat> Well, everybody's turning and they're just thanking for having us out. I've got my wife back here and we got three little girls, so remember them, you know. Uh, it won't be many years, you know, they're going to need them. They're going to be of age and, you know, there's these little kids running around here and all of them's going to need the Lord just like I did one day. But I'll go ahead and uh, start reading here in verse 11. It says, a certain man had two sons, and the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of the goods that follow to thee. And he divided unto them, divided unto them his living. And not many days after, the younger son gathered and together and took his journey to a far country, and there wasted his substance with righteous living. And when he had spent all there, spent all, there arose a mighty famine in the land, and he began to be in want. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country and sent him to the fields to feed swine. And he would, he would fain have filled his belly with the husk of the swine, that the swine, let's see, I lost the spot here. <laughs> let's see. Here we go. Here we go. That the swine did eat, and no man gave unto him. And when he had came to himself, he said, How many hired servants of my father's have bread enough to spare, and I shall perish from hunger. I will rise and go to my father, and will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee, and I am no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of thy hired servants. And he arose and came to his father, but when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And, he, and the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in thy sight, and I am no more worthy to be called thy son. But the father said to his servants, Bring forth the best robe and put it on him and put a ring on his hand and shoes on his feet and bring hither the fatty calf and kill and let us eat and be merry. For this my son was dead and alive again. He was lost and is found. And they began to be merry. And uh, you know, I'm, this is a pretty familiar scripture for everybody. You know, I've heard it time and time again. But uh, you know, the son here, he said, uh, I just want to go ahead and I want to get it out. I want to go have fun. That's the way I put it. You know, give me what I got. I want to go over here and I want to party and have fun. And uh and get away, just get away from everybody. And he said, he done that. You know, he got away and went over there. And boy, it wasn't all was cracked up to be, was it? Amen. But uh, here, you know, he, he strayed away. And where it says here, you know, uh, he wasted his substance with righteous living. You know, right here, it just sounds like he's got all of his inheritance and went. And, uh, you know, went over here and, and wasted everything. And that seems like a big jump. It was a big jump to go from here, and he just went straight over there and wasted it. And, you know, he got away from his father right there. It seemed like a big leap, you know. But uh, when he wasted his substance and come back, you know, here, said he came to himself and said, how many hired servants of my father's bread have enough to spare? You know, he, he finally realized, you know, this ain't where I need to be. This ain't where I need to be, and, you know, he might have been scared to go back, afraid that his father wasn't, uh, wasn't accept him back or be mad at him for wasting everything away. 
But you know, with the, his father here, he was so happy to see him because he thought he could have been dead. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, I, I've been thinking about a tape measure. That sounds silly. I got one in my pocket right here. I've been thinking about a tape measure, you know, and this, this son here, you know, it sounded like he was way, way out there. It seems like he just took his tape and went way out there all of a sudden. But, you know, if we ain't careful, you know, we start to slip away from the Lord a little bit. Well, if we do this, it'd be all right. It's just something little. Well, there's you another inch. And here, you know, before long, you say, well, I've done that, and, you know, it won't hurt to miss church again. Well, you can add a little bit more to it right there. And if you ain't careful, you know, you'll get on out there. And once you get on out there, you'll do like him and realize you were, and you break. And, you know, he done that and had to come back. But there's a good thing about that. You know, when this tape breaks and you turn back to the head of it, you know, it'll just bring it right back in. And, you know, whenever you get away from the Lord and you feel like you're alone and scared and tired, all you got to do is just turn right back to him. He's always there waiting with his arms open. And, uh, you know, here, th this stuck out right here. It said he came to himself. You know, I don't... I don't know whether I'd ever really noticed that, what, about that. And he, it come to him, you know, where am I at? And uh, where are you at today? Where am I at today? Am I, am I real close to the end of that tape measure or am I way out here a couple inches? And, uh, you know, when you get out, there's always, you can always just go right back in. And uh, I know it wasn't a whole lot, but I feel like that's all I've got. And I appreciate you all letting me come out here. I know it wasn't long, but uh, I feel like that's what I had. And it was a little tape measure I've carried around all week. But I appreciate it. Appreciate everybody here. In the Lord, amen. 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 He said when he came to himself. And while they're coming, let me say this to you. That meant he had to figure out where he was at. Not figure out where everybody else was at, but figure out where he was at. Amen. Not worry about where the world's at, but worry about where he was at. Amen. Amen. I like that. I'm going to start carrying a tape measure around now. Amen. But I like that. Amen. Let me say this to you. If you're away from God, you can come right back. You can come right back. Amen. You ain't got to make a big to-do about it. You ain't got to go through 12 steps. You can come right back. Amen. Everyone stand this morning as they get a song prepared. If you have a need, the altars are open. Maybe you're away from the Lord. I don't know. Maybe you, you, you come to yourself. You realize where you're at. Well, God will take you back. Amen. God is always faithful in that. Amen. If you have a need, come to the altar this morning. <clears throat>